Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be doing a full face with the Too Faced Cosmetics Sweet Peach Palette. If you've not seen any of my full face videos before, I now have a full playlist. I'll have that up in the cards. But the way I do this series, I think originally this started out like as a, a challenge tag where people would try to do a full face with a palette. And back when I really didn't have a lot of makeup, I realized how useful it could be if you could like realistically get a full face out of an eyeshadow palette. So that's how I approach this series. I take this seriously, I do my best to make the looks work as best as I can, and get like really nice, really... I don't want to say wearable, because any look is wearable, let's put it that way. But like really nice, um, fancy... I don't know, just really nice looks out of palettes. So this isn't like just kind of as a joke or a tag or anything. I'm really trying my best here. So this was, uh, I believe, the winner of a poll I did a while ago. And I know it's been a while since I did my last full face tag video, but this seems like such a good contender for a full face video. We've got, you know, some shades for blush. We've got some nice browns and for like contour and bronzer. And I can do like my favorite eye look today. So let's jump in. I'm starting off with a blank canvas. All I've done is foundation, concealer, and powder. So for foundation, I think I'm wearing the Kat Von D foundation. Concealer is the Tarte Hydra Sealer. And then for my face powder, I'm using the Kylie Loose Powder. So very flat, very white, very blank. And I think we could use some eyebrows. So typically I wouldn't do my eyebrows first, but I'm, I'm looking and I could use some eyebrows. So I really like to use just black shadow. And unfortunately there is not a black shadow in this palette, but I want to take the shade Tempting, which is a really dark green. And I'm going to do my best with that shade to fill in these brows. Okay. Ooh, okay, that worked really well. So when using like such a small precise brush like that with the shade, it comes out almost black. So it looks really nice like that. I just finished up the eyebrows with a little bit of the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel, and I just I feel like I've got <laughs> more to this face. You know, brows really do shape the face. Now that we've got brows done, I want to go in with contour. Recently I've been doing contour before bronzer, and I've just really been liking how it blends out. And I think for contour, I'm gonna go with this dark brown shade up here called Charmed, I'm sure. So I'm gonna take my usual contour brush, and I'm gonna go in with a light hand and because we can always build it up if we want to. We can't always take it away. Oop, and just like that. <laughs> so that does look fairly dark, so I'm gonna just do something similar on the other side. There we go. And then I'm gonna take, I like to contour like right here on my temples, so I've got a little bit right there. And then right up here like that. So just taking my duo fiber brush, I'm going to blend this. Oh, that actually blended out nicely. Okay, so we've got contour done for bronzer. I went back and forth, but I think I'm going to go with the shade Puree, this kind of light brown right here, because it looks closest to a contour. And I think this brush, this is just an old Morphe brush, I think it's going to be small enough to fit in the pan. So I think I'm going to load it up and just tap off the excess on my towel in front of me and then go in like that because we do want, my face is very pale so I want to bring in some color, shape the face. All right, I took it down a little too far over here. Eh. I don't think it's bad enough that I would have to clean it up, but it's actually a nice shade. So we're looking a lot less snow white, which is nice, a lot less pale. We've got color. We've got some life in the face now. <sighs> Next thing, we're going to go with blush. And I think the shade Candid Peach, which is kind of like a matte with some shimmers embedded in it, I think it's going to look really pretty as a blush. Um, I picked out this Luxy brush. It's small enough that I think it'll fit in the pan without too much issue. I'm just going to scrunch the shades together. That is one of the downsides. Even if you have a palette that you really like doing a full face with, not all of them are going to have pan sizes big enough for you to like actually dip a brush into. But you make do and you make it work. So I got enough there. I'm going to tap off just a little bit. Okay, 
we can build that up a little bit. There we go. You see the difference? So we've got a, mm, a nice bright blush and we're doing the same on this side. Before I blend that out, I'm just going to take a little bit more of the blush and just add it to the very top of the chin. I don't know if I want to add a little bit to my nose. Maybe just a little. Just, just right there. There. <laughs> Make it look like we've got a little suntan or a sunburn, that's what I'm trying to say. And see if we can blend this out. Just using a duo fiber brush. I always like to go in after and just make sure everything's blended. I think I blended out a little bit f more like away on this side. So let me bring that up a little bit. And I just want to add a little bit more to this side of the face because I feel like we got more blush on the other side and I want to even it out. There we go. Might have did a little bit too much on the nose, but we'll make it work. We will make it work. All right, so the last for the base is going to be highlight. Now looking in here, I think the closest thing to highlight I'm gonna get is either going to be the plain white shade or the yellow shimmer called Nectar. I think I'm gonna try Nectar. So I've got this tiny little highlight brush and I am gonna swivel it in here and tap off excess because then hopefully we're only left with like the shimmer in the shade. Okay, it's a light highlight. Let's try not. What are you doing? There we go. There we go. You can see it better on this side. And I'm going to do a little bit on the tip of my nose. And then just a little bit on the cupid's bow. And here is the base. It actually turned out pretty good. I like going a little bit heavier with the blush. It just seems to fit like the peach kind of theme. Um, the highlight worked out a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be a little bit too dark for my complexion. Um, but the bronzer and contour looks really nice. The only thing I would do is like clean up down here and like just cut it a little bit. And I'd probably do that with loose powder. So you know what? Let me do that. Let me jump off camera. I will just clean up the edges of the bronzer contour and highlight, and then I will prime my eyes so we can just come back and do the eyeshadow. Okay, so I mean my f concealer, honestly the concealer that I'm using right now isn't a great one, the Tarte Hydra Sealer. So it did break down a little bit down here, but that's nothing to do with like the palette. That's just that concealer being trashy. So if you see like spots here, that's the concealer. I cleaned up down here, honestly, the blush bronzer highlight looks really pretty. I like it. Um, and I did prime my eyes. So I'm going to go in. I'm probably going to fast forward through this because I've done this look a few times, but I really like it. And it's the reason why I have so much pan in the shade Luscious. This is a look I got from a pretty old tutorial from Thrifty Beauty. I'll throw it up in the cards. It's called the Pumpkin Spice Tutorial. And it's like one of my favorite, if not my favorite, neutral look of all time. So <laughs> let's go.
and this is the final look it came out just so nice like this is definitely something i would wear like if i was going to the office you know pre-pandemic uh, I would wear this like on an everyday basis. I personally just love this eye look. This is like my favorite neutral eye look and that's why I'm gonna be so sad when I finally finish Luscious. Like I have so much pan in the shade. I don't know what I'm gonna do without it. <laughs> this is actually the most pan I've hit in a palette that I have not specifically tried to pan. Like I have never put this in a project pan or a pan that palette and I have this much pan in that palette or in that shade and then I've got a lot of pan in the shade down here. So just, just a little side note there. But I really like this palette. I also did a palette resurrection i believe a little while ago i'll throw that up in the cards if you missed it but this turned out so nice and that's the whole point of this like you know series is to like do this with different palettes see what kind of looks i can get and just really utilize the makeup i own so thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below if you have the sweet peach palette and if you would do this kind of look on an everyday basis and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye